Bienvenidos amigos. What is the first thing that everyone should do when they first arrive to beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico? Walk on the Malecon. The beautiful Malecon. It's about a mile long boardwalk that stretches over three neighborhoods here in Puerto Vallarta. We're about to show you our favorite things to do and our favorite places to eat. So you know with us, you'll be getting some local eats, some delicious food and desserts. Come and walk with us on the Malecon. The beautiful thing is that it is stroller and wheelchair accessible, which most places are not. However, the walk there is a little bit of a struggle and we're about to show you why. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Por favor, amiguitos. Dale un like a este video y suscríbete al canal. Let's go walk on the Malecon. So we're down to one kiddo, and as we mentioned, the walk on the Malecon is nice and smooth, accessible to all persons, but the walk to the Malecon is not so smooth. We wore our best walking shoes right Cali what are the so yeah most roads within city center are cobblestone and a lot of the sidewalks have steps there are sidewalks that are wheelchair accessible but well you have to find them so you could probably just look online otherwise not very accessible at all. Here it is, the start of the Malecon. So the Malecon is a very long stretch of boardwalk that goes from Cinco de Diciembre to Centro to the Zona Romantica. We're fortunate enough to live a few minutes away. So we come and we walk along the Malecon. In the evening time with the kids, they play. There's a bunch of stuff for the family, so we really love it here and we also love eating here so stay tuned and we'll, sh we'll show you guys what our favorite thing to eat is on a malecon.
does look really nice just walking here too along the water. Get a really nice view of the bay, Banderas Bay. Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. You want a balloon, buddy? After Rio Cuales, you get to Zona Romantica and it becomes very touristy here. There's some bigger restaurants on the beach. Again, we haven't tried any, but it'd be interesting to definitely paying a lot more than we're typically used to on these ends. So you have this really nice park here. I forget the name. On Sundays, there's a, an artisanal market here. So you get a lot of stuff, a lot of Mexican crafts or really good food, international style food that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Hey. <laughs> One of our must-stop in Zona Romantica, which is right on the same street as the pier, is Dee's Coffee. Come here any time of day, every single time we're here, Dee's Coffees is a must.
So it costs about 90 pesos altogether. Um, these coffee, Canadian own, and they do Canadian baking, which we like with real butter, soft, moist cakes, cookies, and everything. So that's why we like coming here. Uh, we find like Mexican baking is a little bit different. Not in a bad or a good way, but different. However, it doesn't trump Canadian cooking. Taste test. That good? That good food? Also have great coffee here. What? Cookies, yeah. They have cookies. Kathleen wants me to make sure you guys know. Canadian baking, all right. Manos arriba. So during the day, Playa Los Muertos is full of umbrellas and chairs, beach chairs you can rent. And then they remove everything and it becomes all restaurants along the beach at night. So they're just setting up now for the restaurants. I'm gonna lay a little blanket. I'm gonna go for a little dip in the water. That's the water. A little bit choppy, but. So the water over here is a lot, the waves are a lot smaller here near the pier because there's a lot of fish and bros to, to stop the waves. But if you go a little bit further out, they definitely are a lot bigger.
One thing we love about Puerto Vallarta is the sunsets. Unbeatable. Unbeatable sunsets, beautiful mountains. Like the views out here everywhere are breathtaking. This brings us back to uh, Los Arcos because last time we came to shoot the video, a Monday. it was a Monday, they didn't really have many vendors, but hopefully today, Friday, they have a lot more and we can actually show you guys what we usually get and try a whole bunch of food. But let's hope that they have some good food to eat. I'm really excited and I'm very, very hungry. Cali too. Okay. Alright, let's go check it out. Yeah. Wanna know that? No. You like that? For those wondering, since the last episode, I did get a massage to get that kink out of my neck. You did? I also got yeah I did. Oh. Right I got a okay. massage. What? To get that kink out of my neck after that hike. Bro, what are you talking and about? And also, oh, I got a haircut. Feeling fresh. Ready to eat some street food.
For three tamales and one atole, it was 80 pesos. This is what we've been waiting for. So we got rajas con queso, which is a green pepper with cheese. Uh, pollo con, I think salsa. I can't remember what color salsa. And costillas, which is ribs with red sauce. And I got, I got atole which is like a corn-based warm drink with lots of cinnamon. So good. Next stop is the cake spots and every Everywhere you can find these cake places. They all have the exact same cakes in the exact same containers. They look like they're all from Costco, but they're not, but they're all excellent. We got two cakes, choco flan and a cheesecake, caramel chocolate cheesecake. They're both looking delicious. And they are delicious because we've had them before. Let's see if we find anything else to eat. We just saw Mickey Mouse without a head. Sadly, traumatized. <laughs> he won't even look at the camera right now. You scared? Plaza de Armas during Christmas time was crazy busy. There was a lot of food vendors everywhere. And right now it's about a fraction of that, but I'm sure that for anyone coming, if you're here during the weekend, you can pop in, have a late night snack. We're gonna get another little meal to eat. Oops. Ay, perdón. And we're gonna get a norchata. Adios. Adios. This is an horchata. So it's made out of rice and cinnamon. And it's my personal favorite. Horchata. Salud. delicious. So these are quesadillas, freshly made with the masa and deep fried. We got cheese one, a chicken, and a leg one. It's the best one for sure. The recommendations is tamales on the malecon, cake, agua fresca, wherever you get it, or more specifically, horchata, wherever you can get it. And atole. Cake. If you're tamales, you need to get atole. Period. That's it? That's it. That's all I have to say. Get some cake. Oh yeah, those fried quesadillas were also excellent. They were more like uh, they were more like empanadas. empanadas. 
They were basically empanadas, but they call them quesadillas and they were delicious and also very filling. We ate way too much. And that was our tour of the Malikban. So we got to see it from the daytime and from the beautiful sunset. There's everything on the Malikban, so it's a must visit if you do come to PV. It's beautiful all around. There's everything you could ever want. There's restaurants, clubs, gift shops, tours, beaches, swimming, sculptures, art, street performances, every single thing you can want on a boardwalk. It is to be found on the Malikon. We hope you guys enjoyed this. It's our go-to multiple times a week. We had fun going back once more and eating some delicious cake. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like, comment if you liked the video. We'll see you guys next time on more Life Diaries. This is our journey. Peace.